Hi, I'm Donna, and um, I just wanted to do a short video kind of recapping my first year of gardening and also thank all my subscribers out there who have watched my garden grow through the first year. And I'm um, just so proud that there's been so many people that have been inspired to start their own garden. Um, I just try to make it as much of a reality uh, show as possible so that everyone knows that there, is challenge, there are challenges in gardening and depending on, I guess, where you live. Where I live, I'm a mile outside of the Gulf of Mexico, so I have a lot of wind and brutally hot summers, especially in July. I have salty air to contend with, so, um, and insects galore, so. <laughs> but um, even though I have the challenges, the rewards far outweigh any challenges that I've had. And um, again, I just want to thank everyone who subscribed and has have learned as much as I have this first year of gardening. Um, also, what I found has been useful for me is to kind of keep a, a journal. So my first year, I learned a lot of things that I'm going to change this next season, this next growing season. And some of the things I just want to touch on, um, I'm going to plant my tomatoes. As you noticed from my previous videos, my tomatoes would drop their blooms. And that had a lot to do with the summer heat where I live. Um, there would be a varying degree of probably 30 degrees from the night temperature to the daytime temperature, maybe even more than 30 degrees. And um, that's not very conducive for a healthy tomato plant. So this year I'm going to do a lot of shade gardening with tomatoes. I have one of my square foot boxes that are gets the first afternoon shade. So I'm going to try to plant um, the majority of my tomato plants in that box. I also am going to plant more um, sugar peas, the little sweet peas that are so good. Those do very well in the springtime and um, they're just delicious. So I'll be planting a lot of those this spring. I am going to plant more peppers. I had so many peppers last, um, this past fall. That's actually when I started getting all my peppers in. and. I am going to plant even more than that because they freeze so well and I have enjoyed them so much in soups this past winter. So I'm going to um, definitely plant probably at least 10 to 12 pepper plants this year. I am going to have more kale for my winter garden. I just use it every day in my soups. So I'm going to make sure that I have a lot more of that next winter. It's so hardy anyway and, and good for you too. I, um, I'm going to tr probably try to start a compost this summer because I know the garden needs that and it's just so beneficial for the garden to have a blend of nutrients that come from your own compost versus um, trying to buy it or find it online and so that's going to be something I'm going to attempt to do um, I hope so anyway <laughs> and just wanted to remind everyone you know when you start your garden out there that um, it's going to be so rewarding um, the best thing to do and I love quotations. The best thing you can do is um, to check on your garden every day and that's what it says in the Square Foot Gardening book and uh, of course if you're going to try this method you, uh, you have to read that book first because I'm not a teacher. I'm just showing what I've learned as a novice gardener my first year but um, by reading the book it will walk you through step by step and again that's a Mel Bartholomew's Square Foot Gardening book and it tells you the soil mixture that you need and how to lay out your grids and that kind of thing. So, um, by all means, read your book first, and, um, and then you can give it a go like I did, and, um, and it did, it just did so well, but um, keep your log, and you will definitely have a good time gardening. Check on your garden every day, and one of the quotes that I, I do like is, um, the best fertilizer is a gardener's shadow. Um, I, my, work, my garden takes very little work at all and I might check on it 10 to 15 day, minutes a day and um, those are enjoyable minutes by the way. That's usually harvesting something and not having to uh, you know obviously till up anything or um, that kind of what you would typically think of vegetable gardening as the work involved, back breaking work. I have very little of that. Um, another um, quote that I like is there's no such thing as a gardening mistake, only experiments. And if you've seen all of my videos from the past year, you know I did a lot of experiments, but, um, and that's fun. That's fun to do. So anyway, I just wanted to thank everyone for subscribing out there, and hopefully you're enjoying your garden as much as I have my first year. And I'm looking forward to my next season here, uh, spring, and seeing what else we can grow together. Thanks a lot for watching.